Hi everyone and thanks for watching. Today we're making a natural rosehip seed retinol serum. So you're actually going to get some lovely rosehip seed oil thanks to Erin over at Swag Sisters. Thank you Erin. She allowed us to pick some berries over there, these beautiful rose hips about six weeks ago, and now they're just about the right texture for getting um, the seeds out. So we start by always wearing gloves. I only have one glove today. And we just grasp the little tip here. We want to pinch it, pull away, and then squeeze the seeds into a bowl. Okay, and I really shouldn't be doing it with one hand. Now, sometimes when you're drying these berries, because you're not really drying them, actually, what you want to do is you want to keep them moist. This one here didn't stay moist enough. It's hard, and it's almost impossible to get the seeds out. So, well, it's not impossible. It's just a totally different process. So, again, this is the way you do it. You grab the bulb on one end, you squeeze and pinch it so no seeds come with and then squeeze it into a bowl. Then we're gonna do a whole bunch of those. We're gonna add warm water, but not hot. And we're just gonna swish that around. And you can see just from two, you get a whole bunch of seeds All right, already. So, um, I actually did a whole bunch already. And the way that we did it was that we got some seeds that were already, um, washed because what's going to happen is that when you get enough seeds in here all the water is really murky and there's a bunch of stuff and there's also these tiny little needles and that's why you have to make sure that you definitely definitely wear gloves because they're very very prickly and it's hard to get them off so what happens is that eventually you'll get like clear fluid right you're going to drain that and you're going to drain it onto um, parchment paper. Now, I did drain those seeds. They were soaking for overnight. They do need to soak. You do need to soft, soften the shell a bit. And you can see here that some of them are already smashed. I'll show you how I did that. You just get a regular hard surface and you get, um, so I'm just using like this kind of stone and then some parchment paper. You lay the, the seeds out after they've been washed and strained, and then you flip this over and you just start hammering. Okay, I don't wanna to hammer too much, but keep in mind that even soaked, these guys are really, really tough. So I did that and then I dried them overnight. They must be completely dry and you'll end up with something like this. Okay, so again, you don't want to touch them still. They're very dry, okay? We dried them, we dried these from another batch that we did. Then you're gonna pour them into a jar, okay? So I have a whole bunch of seeds here. You can see I did a lot of work for that. You're gonna get your organic rosehip, excuse me, no, your organic sunflower oil. So I've got some organic sunflower oil here, okay? And I'm going to just pour that into here. And we're going to put about twice as much. So I'm going to just pour this whole thing in actually. Okay, so. Then we cover it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to let, so we can shake this up too, by the way. We can shake it up a little bit so you can see that. And we're going to let that sit in a dark cupboard that's uh, not moist and uh, and it's dry in there and and then what's going to happen is that that is going to um, all of the nutrients the vitamin a the vitamin c that's inside the rosehip seed oil that has all the benefits that's all going to come out by diffusion so you, you didn't really create a lot of uh, friction which breaks down all those wonderful ingredients by hammering because it was just a little bit of hammering when you cold press any cold press rosehip seed oil will have gone through way more friction so I feel like this is a much healthier option so um, I have actually so after doing that I did some a week ago this is from one week ago here 
okay? And it's quite a different color than the, I don't have it here, here it is here. This is the original, I don't know if you can tell it. Yeah, you can kind of tell the difference. This is your original oil, okay? The organic sunflower oil, and this here is after infusing for one week. So we're just gonna go ahead and decant that into some little bottles that, um, the thing with these bottles here is that they're gonna be good um, to protect from it from the light. Your serum is good for about three months. I'm just gonna show you one bottle for now. So we just go ahead and do that. And then we get a dropper, okay, so that's that. We get a dropper. See, I didn't even fill it up enough, but you can see this gorgeous color here. And you're just gonna rub that into your skin every night, okay? So here's your rosehip seed oil. It's got tons of benefits. It'll help to plump up wrinkles. It'll decrease dark spots. It'll reduce sebum and pore size if you have acne. Um, and it also helps to deal, heal damages and blemishes. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. And um, you can make your own oil too. I think we're going to try something different next time. We're going to probably try and make a really wonderful lotion with this very serum. So a serum lo lotion for your skin for those days that you don't want to wear an oil on your skin. Thanks again. And we'll see you again.